Now I want to ask you, what is the name of the tower? Good. And then, how many languages people speak at that time? Very good. And who confused the people and making them to speak different language? Good. Yeah. Okay, now I want to review that sometimes it's hard to admit that we need squad help. Sometimes we want to be able to say that we can do everything on our own. But guess what? Everyone needs God's help. We all need God to forgive us when we disobey and make the wrong choices. But God is always with us. He always loves us, no matter what. Because we can't ever be perfect on our own. Okay, let's pray. With seven priests bearing seven trumpets of rams, horns before the ark. On the seventh day, you shall march around the city seven times, the priests blowing the trumpets, when they make long blasts with the ram horn, as soon as you hear the sound of the trumpet. Then all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city will fall down flat. And all the people shall charge straight ahead. So Joshua sons of Nun summoned the priests and said to them, Take up the take up the ark. And I'm grateful for the opportunity to share a few things about what we can learn from what we just read, which is the, the story of the wall of Jericho. And I'm also, can I say also that I'm grateful for the opportunity for the Indonesian community in St. John to serve today, because St. John has been a home for Indonesian Christians in Wellington for many, many years. And I think um, it's good that we can serve back and um, help with the service today. So what we know about the walls of Jericho today is that there are a few things. First, they were immense. And then these walls, they were around the city like a suit of armor. The city has two centric circles, the stickle of stone rising 40 feet above the ground, and then the walls were impenetrable. And here's what we know a little bit about the inhabitants. The people were famous for being voracious and We thank you, God, for the life you have granted us, for the togetherness with our congregation today. We pray to you and sing you our praises. We thank you, God, for you have crushed the wall of country as you crushed down the walls of Jericho, which have imprisoned us. You conquered the world and liberated us from the dead. We are grateful for the government and the people in this country, and we thank you that we can enjoy your amazing grace each and every day. Please, Lord, bestow wisdom to the authority to help them build constructive relations with other nations as well for the sake of their people. And we pray for our Christian fellow in some other places who may be under persecution. Give them strength and keep their faith. Look after the missionaries so that they convince that you fight for them who want to spread your words so they will continue to bring more souls to you.
to be unto you our God forever and ever through Jesus Christ. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive sins to us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.